So here's some basics and then off we'll go. The law of attraction is the powerful law that acknowledges the vibrational frequencies of all things physical and not and by not we mean things that you can't translate through your physical senses you can't see it here it smell it taste to touch it but it's still there the law of attraction manages all vibrational frequencies it's the reason that when you tune your radio dial to a certain station you hear what that station is broadcasting because the broadcast frequency and the receiving frequency of your receiver are set at the same place so you're that way with everything in the universe every person every thought every idea every aspect of everything has a frequency and when you focus you focus into being and add emphasis to sort of solidify a frequency and when you do that things that match that frequency then show up in your experience it's the law of attraction there's no law of assertion no one can assert into your experience but sometimes you think they are because you're giving them and what they think your attention but it's your attention to them that is the attracting factor they're not asserting anything into your experience so when you finally get that then you might want to start practicing what you're offering vibrationally recently Esther got something from someone that she didn't really want to get from that person and she didn't expect to get it from that person because she thought she had trained that person to be different than that <laughs> so when she got that from that person it shook her up because made her realize that years and years of training had done nothing <laughs> sort of a feeling of futility and then as she was in bed that night she was thinking about it and she wasn't really blameful toward that person as much as she was unhappy about how things had been going and then a very clear thought in response to her finally very clear question came into her mind and the thought was hold the phone wait a minute there is no law of assertion it's all attraction so that means that person didn't assert anything into my experience I attracted it oh crap <laughs> that again hey Abraham I'm getting pretty tired of being responsible for each and everything that happens to me and can't somebody else take responsibility for anything well maybe they can but it's not up to you to demand it and every time you try you get out of whack so Esther concluded after thrashing about for a few hours in the night if there really is only attraction then I did attract this and then she realized that she was trying to control with her words while she was attracting something different in other words if I'm getting this I must be expecting it I must be expecting that so I'm using words that say things like I love you when my vibration is you're letting me down again but Abraham what if somebody really is letting you down then you're facing reality not changing it but Abraham when does somebody else get some responsibility in this co-creative dance every single minute in every single day everybody else has responsibility too just nothing that you can do anything about with your words have you noticed how people don't behave oh sometimes you can be strong enough with them you can offer enough threats that they'll pretend to behave but they're not really behaving and the universe will keep showing you their lack of behaving their lack of response to your words so finally you have to own it that you attracted that even though you didn't want it so the way you feel is about your own push-pull my words say I love you my vibration says you're letting me down my words say you're doing a really good job my vibration says oh you could do so much better my words say everything in my world is perfect my vibration says what am I going to do with you you see what we're getting at if there's anything that's wonky in your vibration and there is and it's okay if there's anything that's wonky in your vibration this is what we're wanting to say to you it hasn't got anything to do with anybody else 
what's wonky in your vibration is your own push-pull and at the heart at the heart at the heart at the heart of it is that you we love you so much bless your hearts you have come to the belief that you can control things with words so you say things that you want to believe that you don't believe but the universe always brings you exactly what you believe always so bless the others for helping you know where your weak spots are where you're not believing about what you want spots are have we put you into a state of depression <laughs> because most of you would choose blame over self-introspection it is a simpler thing to say wait a minute I didn't feel this way until I engaged with you about this and since I didn't feel this way until I engaged with you about this then it must be you but it never is it never ever 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 this is gonna take a while ever ever we're talking about each thing you got going on ever 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 it never ever ever never ever it never ever never ever never ever never ever never ever never ever it never ever 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 is about them it always is about you you only you only you only you crap it's so much easier to make it about them until you get hold of oh you're an extension of source energy and your source is with you in everything that you're experiencing and as you're sifting through life and making your conclusions about what you prefer about this and that and this and that you launch these rockets of desire and your inner being rides those rockets and becomes vibrationally equivalent with the things that you have sifted from life and ascertained that you prefer so your inner being always stays on the precise leading edge of what your life has brought you to become and so the thing that you need to understand is that your life has caused you to become vibrationally more than you have caught up with but your inner being is always out there on that leading edge with what you have become which gives you the opportunity to use your emotional guidance system to catch up with what you have become but instead of paying attention to what your inner being knows which means feel your way to your path of least resistance on your path of least resistance to what your inner being knows about who you have become instead you so often look to another another human who is so in comparison with what we've just said to you completely and utterly detached and for you to use anything else as your guidance about where you are when there's your inner being with you every step of the way knows what you mean knows what you saw knows what you meant knows what you launched knows who you've become vibrationally and stands there beaming a signal of who you are and what you want which is the signal that when you come into alignment with it you're gonna feel frisky and full and fun and clear and empowered and in love and instead you look to a human who could care less <laughs> you don't bring me flowers anymore <laughs> And so once you decide to establish a conscious relationship between you and your inner being, which means you decide to care about how you feel and own it when you don't feel good and acknowledge that you not feeling good is about the push pull in you, you're going to improve every relationship you have because you're going to let them all off the hook can you imagine being up close and personal with someone an employer or a lover or a parent or a child anyone a friend having a relationship with someone who just wants to love you and isn't demanding anything from you to shore them up they've already found out how to be whole and now they are wholly living happily ever after and expecting you to do the same and there's no competition there's no power struggle there's no game playing there's no you are diminishing me there's none of that stuff that never was anyway that was always your disagreement with your inner being every time you act like every time you present yourself as someone who is needy 
you get crossways of your inner being who knows you aren't that's like your inner being standing with a basket of everything you've ever asked for and you pretending like the basket doesn't exist because your friend won't give you anything and we say you're looking for your stuff in all the wrong places you're looking for love in all the wrong places you're looking for clarity in all the wrong places now have we talked you into being antisocial that wasn't our goal we just want you to hook up with who you are and then play with each other instead of looking for something that isn't there and when you don't find it then you're in a funk look for it where it is and find it and then go play with others who have found it too and when you look for connection and find it you'll find others who have looked for it and found it and then you'll be like this crowd here today in other words that's what this is really about oh you're not all there and you're not all there every time Esther's not there all the time either but we say for sure about Esther when she's not there she knows it and when she's not there she's not going to blame you for her not being there and now we're wanting to help her not blame her for not being there either it's okay to not be there how can you be somewhere that you don't even know there's a place to be <laughs> how do you even know that you want it until you don't have it isn't that the process of life isn't that what the evolution and expansion of life is we're just giving you a few quick start tips tune in then play so now you know everything that we know <laughs> what do you want to talk about specifically some good stuff Ooh, there's a lot of trouble in this room <laughs>